Okay, so here's a quick look at the R36S. Um, see what I can do in this situation. <laughs> the buttons on the back, uh, similar to the PlayStation and Xbox controllers, the shoulder buttons. So that one there is to access the Spectrum keyboard when you're on it. Um, various layouts. Um, SD card goes in there with the BIOS and the ROMs already on that. It's a partitioned micro SD, although you can put another one in here. Right, turn it on. Let's have a look, shall we? And take a little bit of start up, but to reset between games, you just press the two buttons here and you can go back to your emulators. So, in a second, this all came fully loaded. When I received it, I've just added the Specky games and that's it. Uh, the battery life's very good, isn't it? I was on a seven hour flight last week and it was pretty easy. So, you got Amiga, you can add your favourites. You can change all the backdrops as well, but I didn't do that. Various options. Sinclair Spectrum. PSP. I was playing Loco Roco on that the other day. It worked very well. PlayStation. I was playing Crash Bandicoot. No problems at all. Neo Geo. Various Neo Geo Dreamcast. Genesis Mega Drive. DS. Fairly self explanatory. And I've had no problems with it at all. Sounds very good. Plays very well. And easy to flick between games, etc. Let's have a quick Spectrum game, shall we? And I'll show you what I mean by the keyboard. I get A to select. So if I take, for example, Attic Attack, and I go on there, it'll give me the loading screen. And when I press the L2 button, it gives me the Spectrum keyboard. And then I can select Enter, for example, to start the game. And then if I want to select Kempston, I just go to that and go back up. This is very hard to see through the TV screen, but I select option two and it selects Kempston for me. Then to start the game, I just go to zero. It's a bit of a faff, but it works all right. Oh, this is hard to do watching through an iPhone screen. And there we go, classic attack. Ah, ah, fantastic, takes me back. I can move around like so and fire my axes and get Jimmy lost in it. All very easy to use the sticks and very responsive as well. Yep, yeah, there you have it. Well worth the, I think it was 33 quid or whatever, 34 quid or a rice bed on it. I'm very happy with it. And now, I, I was told to replace the SD card that came with it, and rather than take any chances, I did that straight away. You can get one of those for a tenner. Well, you can't hear where I am. <laughs> okay, and that is that. Three minutes of the S36X, whatever it's called. Did I say that right? R R36S, whatever it is. The thing from AliExpress, it's very good. <laughs> Once you get out of this, you just hold these two buttons to twice and you're back to the emulator pages. And then you should be to go back and you can pick something else. PlayStation, for example. And I said these are all fully loaded in. Very happy.